<laughs> if you go big, you stay. <laughs> well, you know, scare it's uh Oh shit, okay. Um so anyone who has alertness, uh go ahead and roll that, and if you have plus one uh reaction adjustment from your dexterity, um you are not surprised. Anyone else other than those things um, is surprised. What if I have the surprise bonus for my raid? Then that is a dex bonus, so you are not surprised. Yeah. Yay! Okay. So, it looks like the only people outside, outside right, now right now are the, are the two gentlemen. Um, well, I'm outside so, too, but we're on, but the eagles see it. Got it. Ah. Yeah. Why? Why is there two peckers? So, um, the giant eagles, I guess, will be chilling on the ground there, and they notice, boom, some giant spiders come out of the tree. They notice it. Which is most of you, I think. Uh, I think. So disregard this giant spider. I'm just using him for macros. In fact, I'm gonna put him in the river. Okay. Uh, so, so what does everyone want to do? From a turn order. So, if you want to do something, if you're not surprised, um, you can go ahead and roll initiative for whatever you want to do. And then, um, let's see, is it you want the giant eagles to have. Why does this giant eagle have no health? Because it's dead. <laughs> Oh god, I hope I'm not right about that. And none of them have ever died. It's supposed to be Pecker. Pecker. I can't tell. It's like, there's so many poos and foos. Well, plus, all you can tell is like... The... Yeah. It was an idea I, that didn't work so well in tokens. I really don't think it's too late to change their names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to. Because it's too hard to read. Like bird one, bird two. That's so impersonal. <laughs> Character sheet. It's weird. And now it says, "Oh, you already changed it." Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. Okay. So now, oh, that's right. It's just the giant, the giant eagle. eagle. Needs multiple attacks, right? There you go. Yes. Eliminating bullshit one thing at a time. Okay. And now you need a copy of the giant owls, right? 
to being surprised. Okay, so they were surprised. What about the little bird? Hawks. Yeah. Um, and then Azuro. And you only have one hawk now, right? Yeah, one hawk. Okay. And then, um, is Azuro ever surprised? No. Because of. Okay. Gang non living beings, like undead or constructs, you what know? About things with zero intelligence. But have possibly. As long as there's. So. so I think that the Kirin description just says. Pretty sure zero intelligence means they just don't think. So I guess I'll check. Because uh, I don't know what these things' intelligence is. I probably should have put it on their character sheet. Uh, <coughs> oh, they are pretty smart, actually. So. Yeah. Needs one extra attack. Um, what's Zalman gonna do? I don't see his initiative. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna move toward the door and try and attack if I can. Okay, with your longsword. Yeah. Oh, weird. It. Okay, now I see you. All right. Um. It's everyone else taking a while for my stuff to go through. Yeah, everyone else is surprised. Right. Yeah, and then Azra. Okay. Zaalman goes first. Yay! Okay, so you can move up to your movement rate in squares during combat, which is for you uh, 12. Or you can charge at one and a half times your movement uh, in squares, squares and make only one attack at the end, which gives you plus two to hit for charging. And then some weapons do double mm. damage, and some enemy weapons have. Uh, better chance to hit you and do double damage, depending on what you do. Yeah. AC's lowered by one or something like that, mm. if something attacks you that round. Yeah. Well, I'm not even sure I can get to the door with my normal movement speed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty big room. So. Right. I'll yeah. just probably move to the door, because I'm not going to be able to make it for an attack. Okay. Okay, go ahead and move to the door. This is the door right here. That's uh, exactly squ 12 squares. Yep. Okay. The giant eagles. Altitude one. Half your movement rate. Oh, oh, um, um yeah, I think Do you so. want to take off? Yeah. So they're taking Are off. Are they in the tr Yeah. They're on the ground. Um, are these in the trees or like on the ground in front of the trees or Okay, so okay. this is a bush that they're in. Um, oh, okay. they're taking concealment inside the bush. Um, which for mechanical purposes is going to be um going to give them 25% concealment. So if you want to attack them, uh, it's a minus one to hit while they're inside the bush. And they are on the ground in this in this bush. To... Um I guess. 
Yeah. And then yeah. on dive down to attack, I guess, or wouldn't. But just swoop past them at 40 feet. They're taking off or whatever. And let me. You can see their fangs dripping with poison. They're like drooling with poison right now. Right? Okay. okay. Fly by, you know? And where's his pecker sheet? A second there, there was two sheets. Concealment, sorry, not cover. There's a difference. Yeah. Um, let me check. <coughs> see. AC4, come on. Uh, AC4 hits. It doesn't matter, it's a bird, right? Oh, yeah. So, claw is the left side and bite is the right side. Yeah. Oh, six damage. The claws do six? Yeah. Okay. Continue. Can't turn around this turn. Yeah, I suppose since you're flying, they won't take opportunity attacks. They're flying. Yeah. They'll fly by and attack. Okay, so you moved. Climb in by. I guess I can hear the um, combat over here with all the spires and such. Yeah, you hear like. Call, call. Alright, I'm just going to. Walk you speak in. eagle. It's a spidely creature. Yeah, I'm gonna walk in here and ask, uh, what the heck is going on? Oh yeah, Lucas is surprised. That's right. Or do you have your deck? Do you have alertness or what? Like how are you? Not I surprised? think I have a dex adjustment. Wait, I don't. Never mind. I'm surprised. I'll be right back here then. Okay. Uh, thrashing right. has a dex adjustment. And have to end his turn. Okay. 
So the giant so the spiders, giant spiders um, uh, they like they see the the birds fly away, and they kind of turn around and they start uh, spinning webs on the bush and tree around them. Um, So is that like? It's three dimensional. Oh, three dimensional. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it covers a big area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, giant uh, eagle second, second attack. attack. Okay. can't go either. Oh, because he jogged. Well, he wouldn't have been able to reach him this round anyway. That was just his shit. Okay, Azure. In this case, I'll just call it free action because it's your cabin door. Yeah. It's kind of like drawing a sword and dropping it. In, in this case, because it's your cabin. Touching bases with it. And he'll. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so it's gonna, so it's gonna function, function like a function web like spell. You're probably so big that it won't affect you though, but. Or a certain strength of creature. <coughs> web spell creates many layered mass of strong sticky strands similar to those spider webs but far larger and tougher. Web spell covers a maximum area of 8 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot cubes. Saving throw negates or one half. Um, anyone in the area when a spell is cast must roll a saving throw versus spell with a minus two penalty. Um, if the saving throw is successful, two things may have occurred. The creature has room to escape the areas and is assumed to have jumped free. Creatures less than 13 strengths are stuck until freed by another or until the spell wears off. Missile fire is generally effective against creatures trapped in webs. 
Uh, creatures with strengths between 13 and 17 can break through one foot of webs per round. Creatures with 18 or greater strengths can break through two feet of webs per round. If the webs are at half strengths, these rates are doubled. So that depends on the saving throw. Um, and Azuro is huge, so he should probably have probably somewhere in the realm of 16 or 17 strength. Uh, strands of a web spell are flammable. A magical flaming sword can slash them away as easily as a hand brushes away cobwebs. Any fire, fire flaming oil, flaming well. sword, etc. can set them alight and burn them away in a single round. All creatures within flaming webs suffer 2d4 damage uh, from the flames, but those free of the strands are not harmed. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah, just go yeah, ahead and roll, roll a, save a save versus spell, and then um, if you save, you can move two feet per round. If you don't, it's one feet per round. While inside the... Yeah. Which you're probably going to make it. Well, I don't know. He has an eight. web symbol on your character. And you can move two feet per round while you're inside the web. Move. Okay. Uh, plus one from uh, flank. That hits. You hit a negative eight. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't have to look that up now. Aw. No, that, that hits. Bears might have a negative nine. Yep, Spy gets a faithful of hoof for his effort. Oh, there is a reason why Azuro's main weapons are his magic and not his feet. Okay. Giant eagles? Uh, they can't go. Azuro. Okay. Uh, technically speaking, the same hoof again in his face. I mean. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Yeah. Yeah, you hit. Negative a lot. I wonder how many creatures won't get hit by a negative 11. Um, I don't know. This is a minus 4 to... is technically not armor class, so... Puff it real good. Okay. Azrael again. Give some of the eleven. The sharp and pointy. AC of four hits. Oh wait, no, that's a natural one. So you're off balance for the rest of the round. <clears throat> but that's the end of the round. Yeah. Okay. It's like as bad as he could roll and he still... Yeah. So, um, Zalman, the way I do rolling natural ones is you lose the rest mm -hmm. of your attacks for the round. And um, you're, you're in off balance status, which is uh, uh, a, a bullseye, a bullseye um, status ailment. With a one on it, meaning you, you, uh, um, the enemy gets a plus one to hit at all ranges hmm. against you. Yeah, it's actually fairly light as far as you know critical critically failing goes. Other oh yes, yeah, so 
Other DMs <laughs> might straight up break your weapon if you if you roll a one. Then we take the full round of. Oh no! I, you I had a DM friend. that had it. I had to do a chart. I actually killed an NPC once with, with a critical fail. So. Really? But it's a critical attack, like you rolled a 20 against that other person. That was interesting. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the off... Part of the official rules, because the DM screen chart for, you know, status effects to hit has off balance, but there's absolutely nothing in the game that gives you that status, you know? No rule that tells you to be about that. Fighting, Fighting when... when ah. Like one of my DMs, he, you know, he'd do. If you roll the one, he'd make you roll another D20. And if you roll two ones in a row, so they make you roll a D100. And every number sucks. <laughs> I've broken my arm on a critical fail. Wow. Yeah, I just do, um, you know, you kind of trip over your feet or something. Or uh, tweak your wrist when you're swinging your sword. Sort of knocks you off balance, and you gotta spend the rest of the round trying to regain your balance. Yeah, like, yeah, my favorite crit critical failure. Have to get up again and everything else, you know. Yeah, like rolling a cr rolling a natural one should be annoying, not overly dangerous. Yeah, I think because you know you're a trained warrior, you're not a kid swinging around a sword. Self because you hit yourself with a um, vorpal sword or something, you know. I mean. Take your life in your hands wielding a vorpal sword if you're a roll natural one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. Go, go. Next round, everyone can roll initiative. If you want. You don't have to fight a giant fighter if you don't want. <laughs> by the way, you gotta help out. By the way, you gotta help out the party, right? Well, I mean, I mean it's yeah. also in the middle of our front door. I mean, I can't, I can't really do anything. Like, I have nothing to gain by fighting these things. But my character doesn't know that, and that would be like meta gaming. So yeah, he's gonna act even if you know there's nothing to benefit from. I mean, Multiple attacks. 